Hi guys, today we're going to be reviewing the game The Cattleman. This game came out in 1977 and it is for two to four players. Now the object of this game is you're going to be in the Old West and you're going to be uh, trying to jump claims and eliminate other players from the game. So let's take a look at it. We have a small portion here of the United States as it would have been in the 1800s. Um, and uh, there's also different colors here on certain states. Uh, you also have a railroad system over here with these dots on here. And uh, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be uh, laying claim to the different lands and the railroads. And uh, what you're going to be trying to do is jumping the claim and claiming some of the other ones through dice rolling. Uh, now, each player is going to be receiving a, uh, a handful of these tokens over here. And there's uh, some different colors. What they're going to do is they're going to go ahead and just start placing these tokens one at a time. And each person is going to alternate here on the different states. The coins are in different denominations. The silver ones are $1, and then the gold ones range from $5 to $10. And then you also have a set of dice, and uh, the person whose turn it is, who is going to be trying to uh, take claims, is going to roll the red dice, and the defending player is going to roll the white dice. So I'll go ahead and set up for a two-player game. Let's just say player one goes, and he decides he's going to claim South California. I'm the red guy, so let's just say I decide I'm going to claim Oregon. And the green player goes again, and he chooses Utah. And then I go ahead and I hit Washington. Now you'll note here on the bottom here of the board, um, there's different color codes along with money values. Uh, if any player is able to uh, claim an entire uh, section of the colors, such as these two or then the greens, they're going to be receiving uh, extra money on their turn to uh, spend. And I'll talk about how that works here in a little bit. So uh, if you wanted to lay claim to a railroad, you would just simply place uh, one over here and it works the same way with the railroad. Okay, so we've gone ahead and laid claim to all of the different states here. And now what everybody's going to receive is they're going to receive one coin for each of the claims that they have on here. So right now everybody is going to be receiving 16 coins. And they can choose whatever denominations they want. And then what they're going to do is they're going to go ahead and place these coins on any of the states that they have laid claim to. And they can lay all of their coins on one claim or they can spread them out. And the reason why you're going to want to be doing this is uh, for offensive and defensive purposes. Since the red player has uh, laid claim to these two, the timber, he's going to receive a bonus $20. So let's just say he takes these 10 and he decides he's going to go ahead and play one here and one over here. Now you also have these Western Strategy game cards over here. And anytime the, a player whose turn it is, who is trying to steal claims, rolls a double, he's going to draw one of these cards and follow what it says. Okay, so let's just say that Red is first, and what he's going to do is he's going to go ahead and try to jump a claim. And the way he's going to do that, he's going to pick a state that he uh, has a claim on with some coins. He's going to announce how much he's risking, and then it can't be more than the amount on the challenged opponent's claim. Um, if he just has the claim marker, such as something over here, it's just going to be worth a dollar. Uh, but anyway, after he does that, and so he could say something like, okay, I'm going to challenge from Arizona, I'm going to challenge Utah with one coin. And so both players are going to go ahead and roll. So let's say uh, red rolls first, he rolls an eight, and then uh, the defending player rolls a nine. So uh, since he went ahead and he bet a coin and lost it, he's going to go ahead and stick it in here. If the uh, attacking player rolls a 7 or 11, he's going to win automatically, and he's also going to win ties. So now what he can do is he can continue rolling, and let's just say he goes over here and says, okay, I'm going to bet 2 uh, on Utah over here. So he rolls, he rolls, a doubles a 4, and then the opponent rolls a 5. So he's gone ahead and he's lost 2, but player 1 is going to go ahead and draw a card, and let's just see what it says here. It says you lose $10 to the bank. So what I'll have to do is it looks like I'm going to have to go ahead and take them off one of the states here. So now I can continue going if I would like to, but in this case, I'm going to say no. But player two is going to go ahead and do the jumping now. And let's just say he says, okay, I've got Utah. I'm going to try to get Arizona here. So he rolls red dice and he gets a eight. And the defending player gets a six. So since he went ahead and he bet one, he's going to go ahead and take this person's claim marker out of the game for now, and then he's going to go ahead and place one of his claim markers on there. Now, an interesting thing is, uh, if a player wants to buy back his claim markers, he's going to pay a bank a dollar. Also, when you are jumping claims, you're only going to be able to pick one state to do it from. Um, and you can just keep going until you either run out and lose the state or until you want to. And the game is going to keep going back and forth like this. And the winner of the game is going to be the one that has eliminated all the other players' claims and has taken over the board. 
And that, folks, is the Cattleman. So my final thoughts on the Cattleman. Well, this game definitely reminds me a lot of Risk when you're uh, trying to attack different places and you're rolling dice and then the number of you roll, you lose that many armies. This game reminds me a lot of that. Uh, one of the things I do like is that there is some strategy as far as where you're going to be placing the coins uh, because you have to consider that your player is going to be attacking you and you need to have enough coins in there to try to have some kind of defense. So do you put a lot of coins on one state? How do you distribute them? So that part, uh, there's definitely some strategy there. Now, this game is pretty much 90% dice roll. You're just going to be rolling and defending and rolling and defending and then changing out uh, ownerships with the different things. So really, that's the base of the game uh, is just a lot of the rolling. And the cards are nice whenever you get to draw them. Would I recommend it? Well, if you like games like Risk and games where you're chucking dice a lot, Maybe so. Uh, I mean, it's not my favorite game. Um, I do like the old vintage look of it, though. And um, it's got a good idea, and the components are pretty nice. That's my review of the Calamon, you guys. Take care. Keep on gaming.